Microsoft has several different ways you can manage and add printers. In Windows Server 2016, we can see in Control Panel this ability right here with the various different printers that have already been added. If we want to have even more control over printing, then we need to add a special role. So let's go into our Server Manager, go to Add Roles and Features, click Next, until we get to Server Roles. Let's go ahead and choose the Print and Document Services. Click Next, Next, Next. Now we have the option to also manage scan servers, internet printers, as well as uh, LPD services for Unix printers. But we're just going to choose the printer, print server for this particular video, and we'll go ahead and install. And the role is installed. We'll go ahead and click Close, and we'll go to Tools and Server Manager and choose the Print Management role. Now, if we double-click on our All Printers, we'll see the same thing we saw in Control Panel. We'll see all the printers that were installed, and we can see what their status is, driver name, etc. If we expand the All Drivers option, then we can see all the different drivers that are being installed on the three printers that uh, we're using. We can also add printers that are not ready. So basically, these are printers that we can add, but we're not ready to deploy them. And, and uh, that would be ones that just need to have work done on them, such as adding print drivers or to make additional changes. We can see printers with jobs, jobs that are actually running. So you can have a single pane here to see all the different printers that are currently running jobs, and you can manage those uh, jobs as well. You can restart them. You can delete them from the queue, etc expand print servers and we see we have one print server. So if you have multiple print servers then you'll see multiple print servers in this list but we just have the one and it shows us the drivers that are installed just for this particular one. So up in the custom filters it shows for all servers whereas this one shows just for this one server. So we can see the drivers so basically it's the same type of information that we just saw but it's only for this one server. Then we have the forms. These are the different sizes. So if you need to add a form that's not listed in there, then you can do that. And you can do that by going over to where it says More Actions, Manage Forms, and you can create a new form. And you can put in the width, the height, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. If we go to Ports, we can see what ports are being used for our shared printers. And by default, you're going to see a lot of COM ports, LPT ports, etc. We only have one IP port because we only have one shared printer that was added at this time. We can right-click on that particular port and choose Configure Port. And we can change the IP address, the name, as well as the port number. You can also right-click and choose to add a new port. And you can choose a local port such as the LPT or COM ports, standard TCP IP, or a thin print if you're using VMware as we are here. If we click on printers, we once again see our three printers. Two of these are created by default, the PDF and the document writer, and the third one is one that we added. And then we have deployed printers. So right now it shows that there are no deployed printers. And we can basically see that there is some information here, but it doesn't give us a lot about our printer situation. Let's go ahead and take our generic text printer that is currently being shared out. Right-click on it and choose Deploy with Group Policy. Let's go ahead and browse. And there's all of our group policies. Let's go ahead and choose All. And we're just going to choose the default domain policy. And we're going to choose users. Uh, one of the advantages to using users over computers is users, you can apply this right away by typing GP update or just waiting 15 minutes and it'll reapply uh, the group policy. And then the printer will be added. If you choose the computer option, then what will happen is you have to restart your computer in order for that policy to be applied. So in a lot of cases, that's just not convenient. So we'll go ahead and click Add. And we can now see the uh, printer is going to be added to all users in our domain the next time uh, 15 minutes has passed or you type GP update slash force. So we'll go ahead and click apply. And it was successful. And we click OK. 
Now we click on Deployed Printers and we see that this printer has been deployed using Group Policy and the Default Domain Policy. So that's how we add the Print Management Console and how we manage printers in Windows Server 2016.